We proceed. Ms. Peterson, you said that prior to working for Flinders, you had worked for a company that specialized in fire insurance. Correct. And you worked there for a number of years, correct? Yes. And during your time there, you understood the basics of how fire insurance worked. Yeah. So someone's place of business burns down, they can file an insurance claim, right? Yeah, yes. And if that person deliberately committed arson, that would be a defense to an insurance claim, right? I don't know. You didn't know that from your time working at the fire insurance company? No, I was mostly a secretary. Okay, well, you worked for a company called Yap Hank, is that right? Yes. And when you were at Yap Hank, you met Mr. George Avery, is that correct? Correct. And you knew Mr. Avery outside of work, correct? Yes. The two of you went to a company barbecue together, right? Uh, I believe so. Why did you, and, and you left Yap Hank, you said, because of a fire? Yes, I was like, uh, after the fire destroyed the factory. And Mr. Avery was working at the factory when the fire happened, right? Correct. So were a lot of people. Now, were you familiar with, let me rephrase, you knew Mr. Avery? Yes. You knew something of his background? Yeah, I knew he did good work. Did you know that he had worked for a company called Fast Meat Packing Company? No. You have seen Mr., you, you saw Mr. Avery's resume, right? Yes, I did review it. And you didn't see Fast Meat Packing Company on the resume? Mm, I don't recall that specific place. There, he had worked at a lot of places. Okay, well let's talk about your involvement with Flinders. You sent an email to Mr. Jackson, the president of Flinders, to offer help in a turnaround strategy, is that right? Correct. And you had a meeting with Mr. Jackson, right? Yes. And during this meeting with Mr. Jackson, you heard about a retooling strategy that he had, correct? Yes, he explained to me an idea he had to redo, to make the company better. And he explained to you that if this idea was successful, that you would be a shareholder in the company, correct? Correct. And you were the one that recommended Mr. George Avery to Mr. Flinders? Yes, uh, I did. Uh, Mr. Jackson? Yes, I did. Okay. And you knew that the person you recommended would be critical to the turnaround strategy, right? Yes. I mean, that would be the person in charge of retooling, is that right? Yes, that's why I recommended him. But you just said that you didn't know very much about his background. You didn't know, for instance, that he worked at Fast Meat Packing Company. I did not, but I knew he did good work. Did you do, you didn't do any background research on Mr. Avery's resume, did you? No, I just reviewed his resume. And you passed the resume along to Mr. Jackson without doing background due diligence? I guess, if that's what you want to call it. Yeah, I looked it over and passed it along. Well, you worked as a consultant for your own firm for a number of years, right? Yes. Peterson, Milltown and Associates? Yes. And your partners stole clients from you? Yes. And they left you with debt? They left me with debt, no insurance, yes. So you understand that it's important to know who the people you hire, you're hiring are? Yes. You understand it's important to do a background check? Yes. And yet, you didn't do a background check on Mr. Avery before you recommended him to Mr. Jackson? No, I knew him. I knew he did good work. You saw the books of Flinders Aluminum Company, is that right? Yes. And you saw that Flinders had lost a million dollars in the past two years from the time you started. Is that right? I was aware of that. You also saw that there was a debt. Is that right? A debt? You saw there was a $400,000 debt that was due in November of 2011. That's right. Correct. 
and you understood that Mr. Jackson was in talks with the bank to try to refinance that loan. I was told he was negotiating with the bank. Mr. Jackson told you that himself. Mr. Jackson told me that himself, correct. And Mr. Jackson also told you that he was trying to secure a loan for a new product line, is that right? I think what he told me was he was trying to secure financing. So he was trying to secure a loan for okay. a new product line. Yes. Let me stop you there, Enrique.